Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Following a record-breaking, sold-out run at Paper Mill, the new musical, The Great Gatsby, is coming to Broadway. It will open on April 25th at the Broadway Theater, and I'm here at the Plaza Hotel, and I caught up with the company. I'm so excited to be asked back to the party and to be one of the members of a great party and a great creative team. I'm just very happy I'm not hosting it because this man, Mark Bruni, the host of the party, good luck. Well, Jay Gatsby is hosting the party, and like Jay Gatsby, we never give the same party twice. Yeah. So everyone who saw it at Paper Mill, that was, that was then, and this is now, and we're at the Broadway Theater, and uh, what we're uh, preparing is a totally new version of this, of this story that uh, takes in a lot of uh, opinions that we heard and uh, things we learned, and the writers have been working, and we've got uh, uh, you know, our wonderful cast back, this incredible group of actor-singers to tell this story. Um, and what the audiences can expect is uh, a an incredibly opulent treatment of this of this material that gives all of the glitz and the glamour that you would expect of when you think Gatsby. But at the same time, this, this is a story about class. This is a story about America and the ability of America to deliver on its promise. And that, and there's a big love story at the heart of it. And so, uh, so all of those things are, uh, are, are combining to create what I think is a very deluxe and intricate and depth-filled experience for an audience. And that's why people go to the theater, is for, uh, for a great story, great songs, a totally opulent set, and, uh, and a great night out. This is the first thing that I've worked on in a long time where I feel like I'm coming to work with my friends um, and just like playing. You know, from the creative team to the cast, it's like uh, everybody feels uh, a level of trust for one another that there's there's not that like that sort of lingering feeling of self-doubt and of like is this going to be good enough are they going to be judging me there's really not a lot of that going on um, and it's a really good environment to to work in and to experiment in and, and we have as much fun backstage as any cast ever and you know that the, this show kind of has ups and downs with the characters on stage but um, but yeah it's it's, uh, we have a great time. And, and everybody is so incredibly talented. Some amazing voices and consummate great actors. And I mean, we spent so much time in the rehearsal room just like sitting there asking questions. And, and what's really great is, is everybody wants to invite the collaborative you know, air so that we can make it the best possible show we can. Honestly, this has been one of the most thrilling experiences ever. And I keep mentioning the people, but the people really make it or break it, in my opinion. And this is making a community of just such powerful, innovative, and just also kind, collaborative yeah. creatives. Um, and for me, that's only great groundwork for just an exceptional show. So, um, and I'm just excited to play. I'm excited to dive into the book and to expand on the characteristics of Daisy that um, this production would like to bring out, if that makes any sense. Jeremy's a goofball, I love him very much. Um, I just, I love this cast very, very much. I mean, Paper Mill was such a, it was almost like, I've never done acid, but I picture like, if, if we all went, did acid in the desert, that's kind of what it felt like when we were at Paper Mill. So it's, for me, it's very exciting because we're able to do this in a, in a, in a grand yes. setting that to me is familiar. So I feel very special and privileged to be going back to a theater that I've already uh, been in before, which yeah. is really cool. I'm so excited. I mean, I, this will be my third time on Broadway, but my first time originating a role on Broadway. So I'm really excited to take on that great challenge. It's going to be good. Well, you know, I was a part of The Great Gatsby from the first reading all the way till now. So I've played Nick that long. So it's just to see it come to life and to get to share it with so many people on Broadway is a gift in itself. Working with this cast, what it's been like for you? An absolute dream. I'm working with actors and actresses that I have idolized for a very long time. And it's still very surreal to me that I get to be on stage with Jeremy Jordan, that I get to play best friends with Eva Noblezada, someone that I have like admired from afar for so long. And now we're just friends that get to have fun together. I love this story so much. It's so deeply American. And then the other thing that I love is this cast, man. I mean, like you look down the road, you look down the line, it's like one killer after another. And it's, and I think from every, every ensemble experience I've ever been in, the thing is only as good as the quality of the ensemble allows it to be. And that was my experience on Goodnight Oscar, it's my experience on the shows I've done with Danya Taymor, and it'll, it's, the, it's the experience on this. 
What's made this so special is I've known the creative team, like Kate Kerrigan I've known for 20 years, so to see her make her Broadway debut is very exciting for me, and Mark Bruni is a good friend, to, to see him back on Broadway is great. I just love the people. We have not stopped hanging out with each other since the paper mill run ended. I just love the people. Unbelievable people. I mean, I, the, you can't, I don't think you can fill a room with more talented singers. Uh, uh, the, the ensemble are amazing dancers. Um, this is, this is going to be a wild ride. And I, I'm just, uh, I'm lucky to be just a witness to it. <laughs> What's made it so special for you? Well, I, uh, being a part of the readings yeah. and um, the final workshop with, with Jeremy, yeah. um, I, I was able to really realize what legs this piece has yeah. and the creative team are so talented um, it's 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 beautifully written uh, not to mention visually astounding so can't wait to see how it fits in the broadway oh my god like we're over the moon like uh the opportunity to come from paper mill was amazing like huge success there so many people came so we learned so much and to be able to jump right on that and move forward amazing yeah, there's so much hurry up and wait in this business, and the fact that we could just take that momentum and everything that we learned and immediately start writing. I mean, literally, three days after it closed, Mark Bruni was like, all right, so let's have our meeting and let's talk about our dreams yeah. about what we're going to do um, as we move forward. Yeah. It's Jason Howland's fault that I'm on the project. He brought me in, and I, I feel so lucky to work with these unbelievable collaborators and it starts there and then it just sort of rippled out yeah. because we have this unbelievable team we have b both mark bruni and dominique kelly are just my favorite people to work with they're so smart and structural and they have so much heart and then our cast is just extraordinary our designers are they're invincible and they don't ever nobody stops everybody is so meticulous and obsessed with making this the best thing they can and also they're really kind yeah. it's so cool writing with your wife yeah. how exciting is that Oh, it is an absolute dream. I mean, there's such an, an important relationship because yeah. I feel as a lyricist, you have to be the go-between between music and book. Yeah. Um, but the fact that Kate not only writes book, but also writes lyrics, yeah. and also we share a bedroom, the fact that we can just, like, get the work done, um, and uh, it all, it just, everything happens faster, you know? She's also a genius, and uh, it's been really, really great. And, you know, it's, it, it all, we got the gig during the pandemic, and the thought was, like, well, we either, like, you know, binge watch another series, or maybe we should start writing together. You know, we've been together for 10 years, but this is the first project that we've actually done. Nice. Yeah. Actually, the first song that we wrote for this musical, uh, I wrote, and we have a picture of it somewhere, with their newborn daughter sitting on my lap at the piano. Yeah. Tess. Yeah. And now you're about to open on Broadway at the Broadway Theater. Yes. Pinch me moment. Oh. Fantastic, yes.